Kathy Denny went on this MMIWG walk in Sydney, Unamagi, recently. But this year, something was missing. Her daughter, Sarah. It feels different, a little void. Sarah Denny of the Escazoni First Nation was 36 years old and a mother of two when she died on March 26 of double pneumonia, five days after she began a five and a half month sentence at the Central Nova Scotia Correctional Facility, known as Burnside, for violating house arrest. Kathy is calling for a public inquiry. She wants to know why her daughter did not receive medical treatment. What's going on there? Why, 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 um, why did my daughter die? What, what, can, what needs to be improved in their services? Sarah was staying at her mom's house under house arrest for six months for an assault conviction. But Kathy was diagnosed last August with terminal cancer and says Sarah had the flu. So because of those reasons, Sarah was staying with her boyfriend, which breached her conditions. She wanted to change her, her address, her um, address to over there, but uh, her probation officer didn't let her. But she kept, she kept, she kept getting sick and she was afraid to get me, me yeah. sick. Kathy says when police arrested Sarah on Sunday, March 19th, she told them Sarah was sick. She might have COVID and then, uh, or she might be septic. She needs to see a doctor. And uh, the officer uh, told me, okay, we'll take care of that. The last time Kathy spoke to her daughter was on Tuesday, March 21st, when Sarah called from Burnside. I said, did you see the doctor yet? And she goes, uh, no, not yet. On Sunday, March 26, police came to Kathy's house. They knocked on the door, I said, what's going on? Sarah died. He looked at me and Sarah died. I said, what? Irina Whithall, Sarah's older sister, is devastated. No one should be burying their little sister. Kathy says drumming helps Sarah cope with mental illness and addictions. Kathy has now picked up Sarah's drum and will fight for a public inquiry. And we're going to scream and complain and write letters to everybody that can listen to us. Emma Helpern of the Elizabeth Fry Society says when there is a death of a person in custody in Nova Scotia, the Department of Justice conducts an internal review and the findings are kept private. Halpern says that is problematic. No one ever learns about what happened and how we can prevent this type of horrific death from happening again. Halpern says Sarah did not belong in Burnside. It just really forces the question of, you know, how are we failing Indigenous people so, so much still after everything that we know, because we know so much better. We do know so much better. Kathy says doctors gave her six months to live. It is now eight months. And she says she will fight to the end to find out what happened to Sarah. If I pass away next week, Next month, doesn't matter. I have a large family that are, is willing to pick up this drum. They want changes too. My family is angry. Her friends are angry. We want changes and we want an inquiry. Before she passed away, Sarah gave her oldest son, Chase, a piece of advice. I remember her telling me that she wants me to be better than her. She's like, son, I promise that you'll be better than me. I was like, all right, I'll do my best. The Nova Scotia Department of Justice said in an email statement to APTN News they cannot comment due to privacy. Angel Moore, APTN, National News, Escazoni, First Nation.